Good morning, Seventh Standard. So so far we have finished uh, the French vocabularies from lesson one, two, three, and four, right? So I'll just show you the uh, portion once. So here's your French portion and pattern. So I'll just recall what we have finished so far. So first twenty marks we have uh, finished revising. That is vocabularies from uh, lesson. One, two, three, four. That is French to English and English to French. So in today's class, we will deal with choose the best answer, true or false, and French passage. So that is twenty, twenty, forty marks. In today's class, I would like to concentrate on lesson four and lesson three. Okay. So if there is time, I'll move on to lesson two and lesson one. If not, uh, we'll stop with lesson three and lesson four. And next class, we'll see lesson two and lesson one. and uh, lesson exercise you will do on your own so lesson exercise cannot be revised in case if we have time i will just help you with that if not just revise their lesson exercise because many times we have seen this conjugation will do as one video fine so conjugation 20 marks we will see in the upcoming uh, videos in today's class we are just going to concentrate on the french passage alone okay lesson 3 and lesson 4 and uh, based on this french passage choose the best answer and true or false will be covered fine so we'll revise for the first 40 marks now so one by one we are doing so i would request you to uh, do lesson exercises okay lesson exercises when you are free just try one or two exercises solve it fine so we'll move to the book So let's start with uh, lesson four, uh, Le Parron de Manuel. First, I'll read it once in in French, and then I'll read it in English, and then we'll discuss on true or false, complete and répondre. Okay. So that's with lesson four, and then we will move on to lesson three. So it's a rapid revision. So keep yourself focused. Fine. Let's start. Le Parron de Manuel travaille dans une entreprise. Il est directeur régional. Il voyage beaucoup. Il aime le voyage. Il aime les montagnes. Il n'aime pas le mer. La mer. La mère de Manuel travaille dans un hôpital. Elle est médecin. Elle ausculte les malades et elle donne des médicaments. Elle est sympathique. Elle adore la musique classique. Elle n'aime pas la télé. L'oncle de Manuel est architecte. Il fait des plans pour construire des maisons, des bâtiments, des ponts, etc. Et la tante de Manuel, elle est ingénieure. Non, elle n'est pas ingénieure. Elle est journaliste. Okay, now we'll go for the English version of this. Okay, the father of Manuel works in a company. He is the director, regional director. He travels a lot. He, he likes to travel. Okay, uh, he likes mountains, but he doesn't like the sea. The mother of Manuel works in a hospital. She is doctor. She examines the sick people and uh, she gives medicines for them. She is nice. She likes classical music and she doesn't like TV. Manuel's uncle is the architect. He does lot of plans uh, for constructing house, buildings and bridges, etc. Uh, and the aunt of Manuel, she is engineer. No, she is not engineer. She is journalist. Okay, so very short and uh, crisp uh, revision, French passage. Now we'll move on to dit vrai ou faux. Okay, la mère de Manuel est actrice. So la mère de Manuel She is not actress. She is a medicine. So this one is four. El Nampala Tele. Yeah, that's true. She doesn't like TV. That is Ray. An arch architect fait des plans pour construire des maisons. Yes, the architect does a plan to construct the house. Yeah, it's true. Ray. 
Le père de Emmanuel aime la mer. Non, elle n'aime pas la mer. So it is four. La tante de Emmanuel est ingénieure. So yeah, she is not an engineer. She is a journalist. Now this you already know. This we have to uh, see from the. Complété avec un mot du texte, j'aime dash en été et je vais en France cet été. J'aime voyager, j'aime voyager en été. Ok. Elle est sympathique, elle soigne les malades. Regardes-tu la dash tous les soirs? So, Regardes-tu la télé tous les soirs? Le pont d'Avignon est un vieux pont. En France, mon frère, mon frère est journaliste. Il travaille avec un journal à Paris. Qu'est-ce que le père de Manuel aime et qu'est-ce qu'il n'aime pas? Ok, let's continue with the questions now. So, qu'est-ce que le père de Manuel aime et quel il n'aime pas? So, the answer is there in the passage itself. Il aime les montagnes, il n'aime pas la mer. So, there is the answer. So, next question is, quelle est la profession de la mère de Manuel? So, the upcoming answer, we have to search, profession de la mère de Manuel. La mère de Manuel travaille dans un hôpital. So, the profession is, elle est médecin. Okay. So, now let's move on to lesson 3. So, lesson 3 is, mon pays, la France. So, already we have seen this lesson. So let's do a rapid revision on this and in time permits we will see lesson 2 and lesson 1 also fine. So voici la carte de mon pays, la France. Paris est la capitale de la France. Il y a cinq fleurs importants en France. La Seine, la Loire, la Garon, le Rhône et le Rhin. La Seine traverse la ville de Paris. La montagne principale de la France sont... Les Pyrénées dans le sud-ouest, les Alpes dans le sud-est, les pays voisins de la France sont au, au nord la Belgique et l'Angleterre, à l'est l'Allemagne, la Suisse et l'Italie, au sud l'Espagne, à l'ouest il y a l'océan Atlantique, la Morse sépare la France de l'Angleterre. So, the last line is, la France est connue pour ses fromages, les camemberts, les brie, les roquefort, les roquefort, euh, sa cuisine et ses parfums, Chanel, Christian Dior, Paco Robin. Ok, so, now I'll give you the English version of this. Mon pays, la France, my country, the France. Here's the map of France. Paris is the capital of France. There are five important rivers in France. The Seine, the Loire, the Garonne, the Rhône et the Rhin. So these words are uh, French original words. So we cannot change it in English. We have to s do the same repetition. Okay. The La Seine traverses la ville de Paris. That means the river Seine crosses the city of Paris. The important or the principal mountains of France are the Pyrenees in the southeast, sorry, southwest, the Alps in the southeast, and the country, neighboring countries of France are at north, Belgique and uh, England, at east, uh, Germany, Swiss and Italy, and at the south, Spain. And at the western side, there is an ocean, Atlantic, Atlantic Ocean, okay. And the English Channel separates the France from England. The France is connu pour say from us. The France is well known for its cheese like Camembert, Brie, et Roquefort, and the French cuisine and the French kitchen and the perfume which is very uh, popular there are Chanel, Christian Dior, Paco Rabin, etc. So, cocher la bonne réponse. Cocher la bonne réponse. L'océan Atlantique est 
so you know it is a west la manche sépare france de l'angleterre le roquefort est un or une fromage okay so true or false la belge est sud de la france so we have to see where it is belge so north right so you see here or north la belge so it is false la rouen est un fleuve so rouen est un fleuve i think yes la loire traverse la ville de paris sorry it is wrong la seine traverse la ville de paris Uh, la France est connue pour sa cuisine. Yes, it is well known for its kitchen, so it is vrai. Le brie est une sorte de vin. So, brie is not a vin. I think it is a fromage. So, see, brie, it is a fromage. It is given here. So, it is also again wrong. So, for. So, this one you can uh, just uh, write on your own. Nommez les pays voisins de la France. So, any countries we, you can name, like uh, Angleterre. Uh, Spain, uh, Allemagne. You can just the pays was sent to the France, so and you can just write the answer. Okay, let me the fromage français. So the fromage français it is available here. So down is uh, perfumes and up is fromage. You can uh, name any two from here. And the fleuve français. So two important rivers of France. You can take it up from this list: La Seine, La Loire, La Garonne, etc. And two important mountains: Les Pyrénées et les Alpes. Pyrénées dans le sud-ouest et les Alpes dans le sud-est. Okay, so like that you can find out. So this is from lesson three. So lesson three, French. passage translation is over now we have to move on to lesson 2 now we will continue with lesson 2 a la cafeteria so this already we have seen in the midterm right so anyway i'll just do one revision that will be easy for you anish emmanuel fini les exercices ensuite ils vont à la cafeteria La cafétéria a de l'école est grande. Il y a des gâteaux, des pains au chocolat, des bonbons, des tartines, des glaces, du jus de fruits, etc. Caroline est déjà dans la cafétéria. Elle commande une limonade et des frites. Manuel choisit un pain au chocolat et un jus de fruits. Annie choisit une glace. Il ne mange pas beaucoup. Il mange plus volontiers à la maison pendant le dîner. Le serveur remplit le verre de l'eau fraîche et puis il apporte des plats. Les élèves finissent le repas et ils rentrent à la classe. So this one is well known for you. So I'll just read the English version once. Anish and Manuel finish the exercise and next they go to the cafeteria. The cafeteria of the school is very big. Uh, there are some uh, cakes, bread, chocolates, some uh, sweets. sandwiches toast ice creams and ju fruit juices carlin is already in the cafeteria she orders a uh, lemon lemon juice and uh, some french fries manuel choisit un pain au chocolat okay manuel choose a chocolate bread and some fruit juice and anish choose uh, ice cream and uh, they do not eat much since they ate well last night the server uh, the waiter fills the glass with the fresh water and she he brings some dishes the students finish their uh, dishes and they get back to their class okay so here's the scene of this so caroline anish manuel all the three are there and they are discussing and they are having fine So let's do a fast revision on this. Couche la bonne réponse. Anish et Emmanuel vont à la cafétéria. La cafétéria est grande. Emmanuel choisit des bonbons, une glace, un pain au chocolat. So in case if we don't know, we have to check, right? So Emmanuel choisit un pain au chocolat et un jus de fruits. So the answer is un pain au chocolat. This is the answer. 
À la cafétéria, il y a des livres, des cahiers, des gâteaux et des bonbons. So the answer is B. Gâteaux et des bonbons. So this exercise, commencer is finir, petit, grand, dehors, dedans or dans. Okay, so trouver le contraire, this we have to find out from the text itself. Okay. So compléter avec un mot du mot du texte. Les enfants dash les devoirs. Fini. Les devoirs. Ma chambre est dash et clair. Et grande et clair. Elle dash la tasse et elle boit. Elle prend la tasse et elle boit. Euh, les filles dash à la maison à 5 heures. Les filles rentrent à la maison à 5 heures. Le dash apporte les plats. Le serve apporte les plats. So, commencer, finir, petit, grande, dehors, dans. So, that is from the text. Que mange Caroline? So, what she, did she eat? She, elle commande une limonade et des frites. So, elle mange une limonade et des frites. Les enfants, quand mangent-ils? When do the children, they eat? Okay. Il mange plus volontiers à la maison pendant le dîner. So that is the answer. Il mange plus volontiers à la maison pendant le dîner. So that is the thing. So what is left out? So lesson two we have completed. Uh, now let's move to lesson one. So these things already we have finished in midterm. So that's why I'm just giving a short uh, uh, revision okay that's a rapid revision just five minutes is enough for each and every translation and um, if you want to practice write and practice that is the best way so don't think uh, sir will ask the passage and choose from same lesson it will be different passage and different lesson choose and true or false okay so just learn accordingly voila un garçon et une fille let's start voila un garçon et une fille. Le garçon, il s'appelle Denis Laving. C'est le frère d'Emmanuel. Il a 16 ans. Il est grand et fort. Regardez les jambes de Denis. Elles sont longues. Les bras de Denis sont aussi longs. Il parle anglais et français. La fille s'appelle Catherine Laving. C'est la sœur d'Emmanuel. Elle est petite. Elle a les yeux bleus. Sa bouche, sa bouche est rouge. Elle a les cheveux longs et blonds. Elle est belle. Il habite dans une grande maison. Le frère et la sœur sont très proches. Ils se disputent rarement. So, I'll give the English version. So, voilà le frère et la sœur de Manuel. So, that is the brother and sister of Manuel. There is a boy and a girl. The boy is called as Dennis Loving and the uh, he is the brother of Manuel. He is 16 years old. He is uh, tall and strong. Uh, see the legs of Dennis. It is very long. Okay. The arms of the Dennis are also long. He speaks English and French. So the girl is called as Catherine Loving. She is the sister of Manuel. She is small. She has uh, blue eyes and uh, her mouth is red and uh, she has a long and blonde hair. She is beautiful. They live in a big house. Uh, they are very close to each other. The uh, brother and sister are very close to each other. They fight among themselves very rarely okay so that is the uh, translation part of this lesson now uh, let's go to complete complete avec un mot des mots du texte le fille a les dash brun les yeux brun les dash de denis sont longs les jambes de denis sont longs il y a les cheveux courts so the cheveux means the hair Il y a les cheveux courts, les dashes sont blanches, les dents sont blanches, there is the teeth. Les dashes de Denis sont forts, les, les bras. So, bras means arms. 
B R A S. Le frère de Manuel est petit. So le frère de Manuel, he is not petit, he is grand. So so first one is four. Les yeux de Caroline sont bleu, bleu. No, it is yeah, it's bleu. So it is grey. Les cheveux de Catherine sont longs et bruns. Long et brun, I think it's wrong. It's blend in color, so it is four. Il fait dispute avec son frère, sa sœur, so that is also wrong. It is four. Il parle espagnol, again it is wrong. He speaks English and French. So regarding the question answer, comment s'appelle le garçon qui est sa sœur? So comme uh, il s'appelle, le garçon s'appelle Denis Loving. Qui est sa sœur? Sa sœur. Catherine Loving est sa sœur. Comment sont le frère et la sœur? So how they are? Ils ont très proches, non? Le frère et la sœur sont très proches. So that is the answer. So so far what we have seen is I'll tell you so far what we have seen. So we have seen uh, lesson 4, 3, 2, 1 French passage and passage based exercise that is choose true or false and opposites. So oh, if we revise this today, we are covering nearly 40 marks. Okay, so 20 marks for passage and 20 marks for choose and true or false. So I want you to revise. So out of this four lessons, I will ask choose the best answer and uh, that will be coming for your online test. So revise all the four lessons, choose the best answers, only choose, okay. So true or false I will not ask today, only choose you have to read, fine. So thank you all, uh, have a nice day, in upcoming class we will revise conjugations or something else, okay. So fine, thank you, have a nice day.